Well, today protests took place in cities large and small all across the country, and Dover residents got in on the action. The day consisted of thousands of marchers gathering in support of keeping immigrant families together and to demand change from the Trump administration. 47 ABC's Taylor Lumpkin has the story. We want our legislators to know that this is important. Change needs to happen. Coast to coast to right here in Dover. Crowds gathered to protest President Donald Trump's immigration policies with the Families Belong Together March demanding change. We want Governor Carney to understand that he needs to protect Delaware's immigrants. If the state doesn't listen to us, then we will continue to take action. The protest comes nearly two months after the Trump administration executed its zero tolerance policy toward undocumented immigrants, causing thousands of children to be separated from their parents. Families are the core of any society, and mothers and kids coming here seeking uh, asylum in a refugee basis is a human right. Event organizers took to the steps of Legislative Hall to demand action from Delaware legislators to step up and put an end to the administration's policy. We're showing up in force. We're showing up in force here. They're showing up in force in Wilmington. And this isn't going to go away. Um, and if the legislators don't pay attention to what is going on, then we will remember that in November. They, uh, they need to know where we stand and what we want. We want to work together with them. We don't want, we don't feel that we are enemies. We actually think that we can come together and, and do the right thing in every issue that we are facing as a state and as a country. And protesters say they'll do whatever it takes to make sure the separation of families never happens again. It is abhorrent that the government would treat any human being in the way that they are. And this isn't the first time it's happened, but we are going to try to make sure that it's the last time. Taylor Lumpkin, 47 ABC. Protesters also tell 47 ABC that the current legislation not only affects immigrants, but it affects their democracy as well.